Hey friend, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I'm gonna be working on some freezer meals. Um, life is really busy right now. We've got some big, big projects going on and I'm finding myself a lot of times just not feeling like making dinner when it comes down to dinner time because I'm tired at that point. So let's get, get these things going. These are really easy to do. These are just gonna be all chicken di dinners using a lot of the condiments that we have in our refrigerator because we need to get them out. Okay, so normally I get my chicken from Butcher Box, but this week Publix actually had chicken um, for the family packs, buy one, get one free. So I decided to go ahead and um, pick those up um, just because it's such a good deal. It winds up being anywhere from nine to 10, maybe $11 a package um, versus the 18 to 22, depending on the price you get. So. I'm just going to trim up. What I'm doing for each one is I'm gonna take three chicken breasts, which will be just enough to feed our family. Um, but I'm just gonna trim them up real quick, get some of the fat off of them, or if there's any bad spots. And for this one, it's going to be um, sweet and sour chicken. And my goal for this is to have meals that I can pull straight from the freezer, drop in a crock pot, pop in the oven, and um, not worry about dinner. Usually we've been just so busy lately that I cannot, by the time I get to dinner time, I'm too tired and I don't like to constantly go out to eat. It gets old. I mean, it's nice when it's a treat, but then it can get very expensive. And I just like a home cooked meal and it makes it so much easier because a lot of times too when I'm tired, I don't want to run out. So for the sweet and sour chicken, I'm just going to cube it up and I'm going to put this chicken into a freezer bag and I'm also going to add in um, some pineapple before I wash my hands. I've got my bag already ready. I'm just going to pop my chicken in here. And then let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. Just gonna move this out of the way for a second. And what I'm gonna do to this bag, so I had this bottle of sweet and sour sauce that we got from Aldi's and it's been in our refrigerator for a while. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the entire bottle in here. I'm gonna get a little bit of water It's probably about a half a cup worth. I'm just going to shake it up and then just add it in here and we'll mix all this together. And I'm also going to add in one can of pineapple chunks. And then when it comes to fresh veggies, I will um, add those in when I go to serve the meal. We prefer our vegetables to be just a touch on the crispy side and not too overly cooked and so now you can wait and add the water um, right before you drop it into the crock pot but I'm just doing it now just again save time so in case I don't think about it when I go to pull this out and then drop it in so and that is it super easy super simple to put that's one dinner plus leftovers for us. So we're gonna set that aside. And then that gets rid of this from my refrigerator and this from my pantry that needed to be used up. And so what else I have that we're gonna do is I have this Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. So we're gonna make some, basically like some honey mustard chicken. And then I also have the sun-dried tomato dressing. We bought this to go with a pasta and it just tastes like Italian dressing. It doesn't even taste like sun-dried tomatoes. So we're gonna utilize this to marinate some chicken and then we'll grill that out um, when it comes time for that dinner. So. Now with the rest of these, it's just gonna be whole chicken in a bag. You can choose to cube it up if you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and trim my chicken, get them in the bag, and then just pour the sauces over. 
And this little bit of time to do this prep is going to make a huge difference when it comes to dinner um, because I can just throw veggies with it, make a big pot of rice, and we can have rice a couple of times with it. And so that just, it, all of whatever this is gonna take, maybe 15 minutes or so to trim the chicken, get the sauces on, just will really save me this week and the upcoming week um, when it comes time to feed the family. Now, one trick you can do too is you can, when you're done trimming, you can pound out the chicken. It'll make it thinner. Um, I'm going to skip that step for now because I just want my prep to be as easy as possible. Because again, because we've got some major projects going on, I need to get to those today. Plus, we're taking another meal to a family in our church and we have to drop it off actually this afternoon. So I wanna make sure that I have time to get everything done that needs to be done. Again, if you have a Publix near you, it, keep an eye on the sales. You may not catch this one by time I get this edited it out, but um, when their family packs go buy one, get one free, that's usually the best time to stock up on chicken from them. All right, so each bag's gonna get three breaths chicken breast like I said that's enough to feed um, our family we don't do a lot in the way of leftovers um, so I don't want to have I don't want to do more than three chicken breasts for this And this last three are going for the meal tonight. I am making a Cajun um, chicken sausage rice one pan dish for the meal that we're going to take. Um, a sweet lady in her church fell and I believe broke her arm yesterday at church. And so we're all just coming together to make her some meals so that she doesn't have to worry about dinner for this week. It's because I'm going to do this chicken and sausage and rice, I'm going to cube these as well. And they don't have to be super uniform in size, just as close as you can get it. And then, again, this will all become a one-pan dish, but I'm going to set this aside in a bowl, and I'll cover it, and then... Or even in a bag, actually. Probably just put it in a bag. It'll be easier to store. And then when it comes time to put this together, I will show you guys how quick and easy this one is. Okay, so I won't be seasoning this chicken until it comes time to make the dinner which we will do here in just a little bit. Um, but for now, that will just be for our dinner tonight with um, for the family, along with some sausage, rice, and Cajun seasoning. So I'll show you guys how I put that together. Okay, so for this one, it's the Carolina Gold. Um, we, about a quarter of a bottle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a touch of water. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of water to your sauce. It just, it'll thin it out just enough, because remember this is just gonna marinate the chicken. I have another whole bottle that we can then add to it if we need to, um, to give it some extra sauce. But this will help thin it out a little bit, which will also help marinate the chicken and this will be good either pan fried thrown in the crock pot you could shred it and do barbecue chicken sandwiches or you can grill it so just depending on what night we use this will determine how my day has gone on how I'm gonna cook it but either way and then that's it 
super, super easy. So for the sun-dried tomato one, I am not gonna add obviously anything to it, just the dressing itself. And I didn't want it to go to waste, even though it wasn't quite what we were looking for. My husband makes this amazing sun-dried tomato pesto um, pasta. And so I thought this would be great for the salad that we were having with that dinner. And unfortunately, it just tasted like Italian. So it was just didn't quite work. So we're going to use about half of it um, for now. Just make sure... To kind of massage it in there a little bit now if you're going to use this right away great um if not it's going to go straight into the freezer you can pull it out to thaw it the night before obviously thaw it in the fridge not on your countertop um or you can just take it out frozen you just take it out frozen and um drop it into the crock pot again you can just pull it out once it's tender Usually I find chicken breasts when they're frozen take about six hours on high to cook. And if they're thawed, four hours on medium. So we still have half a jar of this, so we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. Maybe toss this on some potatoes and um, cook them, we'll have to see. But that got rid of, again, another jar out of my refrigerator because I don't know about you guys, but we have way too many condiments taking up space. So. What I've got is three easy freezer meals already put together. They're gonna go in the freezer and then I just need to label them and then um, that'll help for three dinners. And again, a lot of times we will get leftovers or if we don't eat them for lunch, then it's just another leftover dinner, which helps out tremendously. So, and again, this is gonna be for the Cajun chicken and we will work on that in just a little bit. And I'm just gonna put on here what it is and then what the side is gonna be with it. Let's see. And then that way, if I'm not here for any reason and husband or girls wanna pull it out, they'll know what goes with it. Because this is a chicken and rice dish, what I always like to do to make sure my rice stays fluffy is to measure out the dry rice, put it in a colander, and this one is a fine mesh one, and rinse it with cold water. And the reason I do that is it helps take some of the starch off the rice so it's not so sticky. If you ever make rice and the rice is just crazy sticky, this is a great trick to doing, to get some of that starch off so then your rice is fluffy and not sticky. And what you're looking for is for the water to run clear. If it's still milky white, then just keep rinsing it a little bit. It just takes a, about two minutes maybe is what I do for rinsing. It's not going to be, I mean, the longer you rinse, the clearer the water will become. But um, I just do it for about a minute or two, and then it's good. And then that's it. I just shake it a little bit. We're going to grab a paper towel and we're going to just let it rest in the paper towel for now just because I don't have a bowl out to put it on. All right. And then it's just going to be like this. And so I'm just going to set that aside. And so what I'm going to do is I've got obviously my chicken and then I have the beef kielbasa usually if i have cajun if i'm doing cajun chicken i prefer to do that but again this meal train came out very last minute and so i'm working with what i have in my house um they have no dietary restrictions which is great um that makes it a bit easier but 
um, I'm gonna just use what I've got, which is the beef, and it'll be perfectly fine. And this is the Cajun seasoning that I use as well. What we're also gonna do is when we add the water to the rice to cook everything together, we're gonna add a little um, better than bouillon beef. I mean, not beef, I'm so sorry, chicken. Um, I just did beef the other day, so still on the brain, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut an onion. Just have a small onion. It's just gonna add in some extra flavor. I don't typically add a lot of veggies with this dish. You absolutely can, but I'm going to just put veggies on the side for them to enjoy because again, I'm making this early so I can get this done for my day, but then also um, I want it to be able to reheat well for them. And so, because the drop off time is it is this afternoon and so I don't know if they'll eat it right away or not. So I need to make sure what I'm giving them reheats well. So just one small onion and now we're gonna go ahead and start getting everything cooked and let me show you how we do that. Okay, I've got my pot warming up and so I'm just gonna add in olive oil, enough to cover the bottom of the pan. There we go. So that's probably about, about three, maybe two to three tablespoons of oil. What I'm going to drop in first is my chicken. I'm going to go ahead and get this going. It is a one pan dish, but you don't want your chicken to be raw and then mix it all together. You do need to cook your chicken together first. All right, so while we're going to go ahead, waiting for the chicken to start to cook, I'm going to put my onions in a bowl and go ahead and take out some of the salsa. I'm only going to use, I think, about half of it. Um, but let me just cut it and see. Basically, I'll just cut it in half and then I just do slices of the sausage. Now you can take, leave it just like this or you can cut it in half so it gives you a bit more with throughout the dish. So this meal is feeding three adults. So I wanna make sure that there is enough for them to enjoy and then have the next day for lunch. They are getting meals um, every single day this week. So this will also give them an opportunity to have lunch leftovers and then um, freeze it if they need to, to enjoy later. Now the other option you can do too is just slice it like this and then slice it in half however you want to do it, whatever works for your family. Again, I recommend using um, the andouille sausage. I think that that goes best with this dish. But again, I'm using what I've got on hand because it's a last minute thing. This is why I always like to keep a stock pantry. I think we're gonna go ahead and do all of the smoked sausage. Let me grab a bowl. I just really wanna bulk this up so there's a lot of protein to the um, rice ratio because I am going to do two cups of rice that's what I rinsed off and so again this will give them more than enough and they can freeze some of it and pull it out later and reheat it if they want to Don't need a cutting board anymore. Get all of this cleaned up. Okay, so then this is it. Sausage, onions, and then the chicken. The Cajun seasoning, and we got a little salt, pepper, a little rice, a little bouillon. This bouillon is not necessary, but it just enhances the flavor even more. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. If you have other types of chicken um, granules or whatever, you can use that as well. I just usually like to add some chicken flavoring to our rice because it just enhances the flavor a little bit. So, all right, let's go check on that chicken. Okay, now that the chicken is starting to cook, I'm just going to spread it out so it cooks a bit more evenly in the pan. And to the chicken, I'm also going to add in some salt and pepper along with the onions. So I like to do that shortly after the chicken starts to cook. There's going to be a ton of flavor in the Cajun seasoning that I'm using, but I do like to add in a little extra salt and pepper to it. 
It's just what I always do with my chicken, but that part is optional and up to you. And so once the chicken is about halfway cooked or so, I like to go ahead and add in the Cajun seasoning. It allows for more time for the flavor to develop on the dish. And so I, I will caution you to be careful that when you reach this stage and you're checking your chicken, you wanna make sure you break it open because you can no longer see. Um, whether or not the chicken is pink now that there is seasoning added to it. So once that is done, I do add the sausage. I only cook the sausage for about a minute or two. I don't do it very long because keep in mind that we're about to put in the rice in the water and then we're gonna go ahead and um, cook it for 15 minutes. So it's to this dish, I'm gonna be adding in two cups of rice, and that's the rice we rinsed earlier, along with three and a half cups of water. And once I add that, I'm gonna be adding in one teaspoon of the Better Than Bouillon, but keep in mind that it's not necessary. You can totally skip that step if you'd like to. I was just trying to en enhance the flavor just a touch more for them. Now this made a very big pot of um, Cajun chicken and rice and so I was able to give them plenty for their dinner and actually had enough for us to have for dinner as well so once this begins to simmer we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and let it cook for 15 minutes to start and then we will check the rice okay if you can start to see it's just starting to simmer I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the lid on and then we are going to turn this all the way down and then set the timer for 15 minutes. So see you guys back in 15 minutes. Okay, so actually while that um, chicken is cooking, I had pulled out these two New York strips that I got from Butcher Box and they are thawing quick enough. I don't want them to thaw completely, but enough to Get it where I can slice the meat and what I'm going to be doing is creating another freezer meal um, with these steaks if I can get them open I will be there we go okay and you can cut steak um, when it is still a little frozen it actually helps cut it a little bit thinner I'm going to trim it up just a touch it's a New York strip, so it's gonna naturally have some fat in it. Um, but I do wanna get some of it trimmed up so it's not too, too fatty. Mm. Wasn't sure if I was gonna do this in this video or not, because I wasn't sure how quickly it would start to thaw so I could slice through it. I didn't wanna do it when it was frozen solid, but I did want to. ahead and show you guys what I'm doing and you could use any cut of steak that you would like flank steak is usually what I go for but I don't have any um, when I do like beef bulgogi bowls or um, this is going to be Korean barbecue bowls and so I have this jar in my refrigerator again i'm trying to use up all the condiments i can this one is gluten free so we have a daughter that has celiacs and so i need it to be gluten free okay much much better i finally got my light to work it wasn't working earlier for the first part of the video i don't know what it must have been just a slight disconnect on the cord but i'm going to slice these really really thin um as you can see Hopefully you can see that, you know, thin. Um, it do, It's not a lot. It's not going to be a lot of steak for four people. But because we are going to be turning these into rice bowls served with um, either um, spring rolls or with edamame, that will help bulk up. And going, again, rice bowls, they're going to, rice is filling, add a little bit of something else on the side, and then you've got where this these two steaks will feed four people. And usually we're pretty good. Um, again, uh, the four of us, if you have a bigger family, obviously you would need to increase it, maybe change the style of cut um, that works. I know you can still get these things on sale. Uh, watch our local Harris Teeter. Um, put, we'll put steaks on sale 
actually quite often, which I'm grateful for. Usually I just get everything from ButcherBox because it's easier. It just took the stress out of worrying about what was on sale <laughs> um, and what was I going to do. But I know that's not for everybody and that is okay. It just works, fits really well for our lives right now. Um, and I really enjoy it. I've had a few bumps in the road when it comes to ButcherBox, but they are customer service and they are not sponsoring this video. I'm just talking about them because I do really, really like them. Um, their customer service is phenomenal. I've never seen a company that has customer service like they do. We've gotten some spoiled chicken. We've had a couple of issues. They resolve it immediately. They either replace it or they credit the account, which is phenomenal because they are taking your word that something is wrong. And I know there are people that could take advantage of that. We are not those people, but they're, they're just, they've been really, really, really good. And again, most of my issues were not anything that was a big deal and they took care of it right away and I haven't stopped ordering we've been ordering from them for almost a year now and I really do love it all right so again this is another quick and easy meal prep that's going to really save me in the week ahead I will likely run to Publix and get more of that chicken before the sale changes here which is Thursday, today is Monday, at least for our area, that's when it changes. Um, only because it will really help save my butt as we've got stuff going on. And I don't mind going out to eat every so often, but I really don't like it on a consistent basis. One, it kills the budget. And two, it just... <sighs> meat is just so much better so if I can stay on top of it I finally was reaching a point where we were, didn't really have much left and I was winging it to make dinner because um, I was so tired and we had to eat out a couple times and you know what I'm just taking today and doing what needs to be done before I work on the projects around the house so that way I am setting myself up for success and again if it happens and you have to go out or you have to have a bowl of cereal for dinner do it it's totally fine all right there we go it is quick simple and what I will do is I will freeze this and then when I pull this out this I will pan fry for sure I won't throw in the crock pot because it's steak this is but again with it already being marinated already um, set to go it'll be really easy to cook some rice heat up the edamame to go with it and then we will be set you can we can also do if i have time some pickled cucumbers um some asian pickled cucumbers to go with it but we'll see what happens when we get that far so there you go another really quick easy freezer meal that will save me in the next several days and what it does too is it gets rid of another jar of condiment or seasoning in my refrigerator, which is a win-win for everybody. Okay, it's been 15 minutes since this has been cooking. We're gonna stir it. There's still quite a bit of moisture in here, so we're gonna let it go for another 10 minutes and then come back and check and see. And that's likely due to the chicken and the sausage. And so it's just going to take just a little bit more for the rice to absorb all of that liquid. Okay, so it's been another 10 minutes. And then I think we're doing good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the heat. And then I'm going to leave, put the cover back on and let it finish steaming. So the rice will cook, finish cooking all the way through. I don't want to let it go any further than that because the pan, the bottom of the pan is starting to burn a little bit. So we're going to cover this for another 15 minutes and then it should be ready to go. Okay, so I've let it go for another 10 minutes. I am just going to um, let it cool now. It's all done. I tasted it. It has just enough Cajun seasoning. I don't want it to make it too spicy or too much Cajun just because I don't want to overwhelm them and since I don't know what they can handle, 
to try to find that easy balance. Um, but then for yourself, if you wanted to add more, you can. So we're going to just let this cool off and then we are done for our day. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. This was a really quick, easy day in the kitchen. And I just wanted to share it with you because while myself included, sometimes we do prep days, we do a lot of meals. It's a lot of work. It's been hours in the kitchen. This was just about an hour's worth of work that includes throwing together the Cajun chicken dish, the one pan rice dish for uh, the meal that we're dropping off tonight. So you don't have to go crazy in the kitchen. You can just put together a few, even putting together two freezer meals will help you, especially if you have a crazy busy day and you're like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Ooh, I can throw something in the crock pot. Okay, so tonight's dinner is taco meat and we're going to be doing tacos or nachos i usually will do extra ground beef the last time i made it i did four pounds and so what this allows is some can have soft tacos burritos nachos crunchy tacos whatever everybody wants because everybody wants something different but this makes dinner really super easy for tonight so this is actually left over from about I think two or three weeks ago I had done this and so vacuum sealing it in a bag keeps it fresh and in the freezer and so that just keeps it super simple and so I just want to thank you guys again for being here with me today for this really quick video on how you can put together some freezer meals using just what you have in your fridge and um, if you haven't already subscribed and like this channel please consider doing so liking the video that really does help me out tremendously and I will see you guys in the next one bye